Hey everyone, Will here from Flea Market Finds for May 27th, uh, 2018. Uh, not a lot to show you this week, probably one of my smaller uh, videos I've done uh, in recent uh, times. Uh, because it's a holiday weekend, it's uh, Memorial Day on Monday around here in the U.S., uh, so that kept a lot of people from setting up. Uh, they will be planning on barbecuing and things like that. Um, but pretty happy with what I got to show you. Uh, it's really a couple of really good finds. Uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, no progress on the koi pond to report. So no use showing you a mud pit uh, at this point. But uh, um, look, look for something next week. Uh, first up, couple of uh, Baltimore Oral World Series pennants. American League champions, World World Series champions. Uh, Fifteen apiece, uh, great price. Uh, something you don't see around here very often. Um, you know, being 52 years old and being in pretty good shape. Uh, the Orioles were an unbelievable team that year. Uh, they beat the Dodgers in four straight games. Um, in the series, um, just a, a ton of stars. Um, well, this is individually somewhere around 50 apiece, I think. A uh, nice 48 star flag. Well, could be nicer, but uh, got some browning and some fading. But it's a nice 48 with the sewn on stars. Uh, that was five bucks couple of uh, perfumes. Uh, this one should actually bring around 30 bucks. Got those for two dollars a piece. Just a little bit left in that one. Uh, napkin holder, horse napkin holder. Got that for three bucks. Um, somebody in the horses will love that. Love the Japanese uh, pot. They had 35 on it. I got it for 20. Um, what'd you call that? Cloisonne? Maybe. Uh, marked on the bottom, made Japan, so it's nothing really too special. But uh, neat looking. Uh, celluloid uh, man uh, pulling a rickshaw with a geisha girl. And uh, she's got a little puppy on her lap. Uh, that was $2? Yeah, I had a sticker on there. Um, he's got a couple little condition issues, but uh, nice old celluloid piece, probably from the 1930s. Uh, Swatch Watch, new in a box, that was 20 bucks. Uh, parrot Ashtray, really well done. Unfortunately, um, could not find a signature on it anywhere. Um, they had 25, I got that for 10. A uh, reloading, uh, pushes the primer out of uh, shell, shell casings uh, for reloading. Uh, three bucks on that. Uh, a couple Zippos, I uh, got that one for 10. And uh, the Marlboro, um, unfortunately this isn't the expensive one. Um, Zippo made, uh, Marlboro made some that were giveaways uh, years ago, and uh, the Zippo lighter that has a star on it, a star or a steer, I can't for, can't remember, but uh, they go for hundreds. Uh, this one goes for around between 30 and 40. A uh, little metal, not quite sure, something religious, uh, looked interesting, got it for five, yeah. Five. Uh, Mustang watch, got that for ten. Uh, some spoons, three dollars for the lot. They are marked um, USN, United States Navy. Uh, box of earrings and a pendant, and these are made by. Uh, these are marked RLM, Robert Lee Mars, designer. A uh, little uh, salt spoon turned into a pin. I've always had good luck with these. You'd never believe it, but uh, 
I've sold a bunch of them. It really depends on the maker. And can't really SMB Sterling. Uh, that was four. Um, love the goblets. A set of six brass, really heavy, pretty cool looking. Um, they were 15 for the set. I think they should bring. Uh, I think it's about a $60 set right there. Maybe more. Maybe $75. We'll put on the set. Um, pineapple door knocker, five bucks. Uh, this is for tasting wine. It's got the grape leaf in there. Pour a little bit of wine in there, and uh, well marked, five bucks on that. Love the uh, Limoges uh, little box, five dollars. That's about a forty dollar box right there. Uh, the decoy says uh, Swan something Dell 1985 the Boyd's collection I wonder if that's Boyd's Bears um, were they was Boyd's Bears around in 1985 I'm not sure uh, if you watch my videos give me a hand with this did I show this before because I bought one and not sure if I left it at the um, with the guy or not because I got another one from the same guy and these are shakers but just a and they had the same damage as the last one I bought so she's got like horns coming out of her head setting on a lion um, there's definitely a, a story there um, but that was uh, five bucks uh, some baseball cards nothing great it was uh, Nolan Ryan got that for ten. Uh, old boxing card got that for five. Reggie Jackson got that for five, and uh, Jim Davis uh, got that for five. Uh, thought that would be better on him, but because it's graded by PSA, uh, it's only bringing like fifteen. Uh, these others I might look into uh, uh, sending off and getting graded. Wait for a uh, special uh, promotion. Uh, Woodpecker, I had this last week and never talked about it. Uh, he's a door knocker. Um, pull the chain and uh, he hits the wood. Seen better days, but he's got a cool look. A neat idea for a craft uh, item. Uh, the big deal of the day. Um, walked into an estate sale. They had this tub sitting on a little card table. And actually walked past it because uh, I wanted to see what else they had. Then came back to it and started looking. And pulled out um, pulled out a piece and was looking at the marks. And that one, of course that one isn't marked. Oh, there it is. There it is. So I pull out a piece, and you see a necklace with a 14K stamp. At that point, I'm very interested. Then I pull out another piece, and that has a 14K stamp. So at that point, I just say, what would you take for the whole bin? And the lady says, well, you offer me. Well, it seemed like around $20 worth of stuff there. So I offered her 20 bucks. She says, make it 22. I said, do you include the bin? She said, sure. So I got the entire lot here for uh, $22. And take a look. Um, this is all. 14 karat gold. That piece. Those. That's uh, 1.8 grams. And 14 karats bringing like $24 and change a gram. This is 3.1 grams. This is 3.7 grams. Um, they are 
uh, 3.4. I mean, it's just incredible adding all of these up. Um, so all together, just right here, uh, in the gold without too many stones in it, is around 61 grams of 14 karat, which figures out to like $1,480, and that's scrap. I'll resell this. I always get more than scrap for my good jewelry. Um, then moving on, we got some better pieces. Um, there's this is the chain is sterling, but the piece here is uh, 14 karat, and those are diamonds uh, made up of s seven little diamonds, making up. Uh, I guess that's past, present, future. And I got a pair of earrings. There's another one around here. I don't know where it got to, but uh, it'll show up. Um, that is 14 karat, and those aren't diamonds. Those are diamondique. Uh, plenty more um, stuff here. Uh, just with gold. Then we got sterling back here. Then we have some designer pieces that's costume. Then we have another whole bin of like odds and ends. So really neat stuff. Should make a lot of money. I'm figuring by the time I sell everything, probably looking at around $3,000 off of from 22. Can't beat that. Uh, picked up flag for five bucks. Nice big five by eight, uh, lightweight. A uh, Vera Bradley bag for three bucks. Great shape. Um, battery might cut out on me here, so, uh, Turtle, uh, got that for 20 Jade necklace, that was 20 Really nice old costume piece, um, that was 20 Bracelet with a snap on it, uh, that was 5 Little Aztec guy there, um, Malachite, uh, he was 20 the pin was 5 uh, Miriam Haskell, that was 10. Roadrunner was 5. Uh, Turquoise Ring was 5. Love the old pen from the 1930s, that was 10. And the spice set was 8, still in the box. Keep it on my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing. Uh, so until next time, it's Will Yard Sales Fivalist. I'll talk again soon.